Hey everyone, I'm Kai from ML Sound Lab. Let's run through five of the different methods I like to use when I'm dialing in an IR in Miko 2. If you've got any other methods that you like to use, leave them in the comment section below and I'll see about getting to them in a future video. So for the housekeeping in this demo, I'm using my PRS Guitars S2 Satin 24, currently tuned to drop C with Winspear's 12 to 62 gauge drop set with the Seymour Duncan Pegasus and Sentient pickups. I'm running into the Moore Preamp Model X2 with a capture of a Rev Generator 120 and then into my interface into Miko 2. The first method and my personal favorite is that every mic has a purpose. Assign a few characteristics that you want your tone to have. For me, I'll say powerful lows, focused mids and aggressive highs. Then we need to find a microphone that best represents each of these properties. After that, we'll use the mix sliders to blend between them to make sure each one is represented how we want. So for the powerful lows, let's switch to one of the more vintage cabs with the 121 mic. Let's go for the Mars 68 green and stick the 121 on it. Now let's hear how that sounds. That sounds pretty good, now we'll get the mid-range with a 421. Let's go for the Mars Mofo. Let's solo this mic so we can hear what it's doing. Now let's add a little something for the high end. Let's go for a 57 on the Mega Gen cab. Again, we'll solo this one out so we can hear what it's doing. Now let's hear how all three of these sound together and then we'll dial the mix in. So we definitely need to cut some of the 121, so let's play around with the mix slider until we find something we like. Now let's finally adjust the latency just to sort out the high end a little bit. Now I think we're done with this. The second method I like to use is all about keeping it simple with a single microphone. Thousands of great guitar tones have been made with a single well-placed microphone on a well-picked cab. We'll start with a nice balanced sounding microphone like this, so something like the 160 will work really well. Place it on a cab you know is in the general ballpark of what you're after, so for me this would be the Gent V30. We'll stick the 160 on it and then we'll find a placement that we like. Now that we've found a placement we like, we'll use the speaker drop down menu and select any of these cabinets. Once you've done that, it opens up the option to use the arrow keys on your keyboard to quickly audition different cabs. So I think I'm liking how this mega traditional sounds, so now let's just fine tune the mic placement a little bit. Now that we're happy with the cabinet and the mic placement, let's quickly tweak the EQ section just a touch.
Expanding from that is the third method. Every mic sounds great. You'll essentially follow the same path as the first one, but you'll add a bunch of different microphones that all sound great in isolation. Then hopefully when you blend them all together, it'll sound great. One thing you really want to pay attention to when you're using this method is try and add different cabinets and different microphones. The more varied you go with it, the more chance you'll end up with a balanced tone. So we've already got the mega traditional with the 160 that we liked earlier. Let's now add something different. Let's go for the EdVH 4x12 with the 906 microphone on it. We'll solo it to hear what this one sounds like. <laughs> So now I'm happy with that, let's move on. Let's add another microphone. We'll solo this. Let's go for the 5151 Chef with the 7B mic. <laughs> Now let's add another microphone. Let's go for the Mega 91 Green this time. And let's go for the 121. Now we'll unsolo this mic and hear what all four sound like together. Now the fourth method on this list is a little bit more involved, but it can really help you change the way you look at miking up a cabinet. For this one we're going to take advantage of the phase reverse feature. Firstly you want to add two microphones that you know pair well together. Something like the 57 and the 421, or the 57 and the 121. Let's pick the black back cabinet, we'll stick the 57 somewhere near the centre, and then we'll add the 121 as well. Also put this one near the centre. So the point of the phase reversal is that when you flip the phase, you're hearing the difference between the two microphones. The point of this one is to make it sound as bad as possible when the phase is flipped. Then when you unflip it, it'll sound great. <laughs> So that's sounding pretty awful. We've got really subby sounding lows, really honky mids, and really harsh highs. So let's unflip the phase and see what we've done. The fifth and final method I like to use is called High IQ EQ. This one is a total gamble, but it can be fun sometimes. What you want to do is you want to randomly add different microphones to different cabinets and pay attention to the EQ graph. Try and aim for something a bit balanced and a bit flat and see what it sounds like. So let's go for a 421 on the Uber V30. We'll see what that's like. Then we'll add something else. Let's go random. We'll pick Mega 4x12 04 Green and the 160 on it. Let's put that there. Let's go for the Boomtown with 57. We'll put the distance back on this one just to see what that's like. Then we'll add the Mega Trad Blue. We'll go for the 184 mic on this. Now the EdVH 4x12 with the U3. 
pull the distance back in, adjust the tilt on this maybe. Let's add the, let's go for the anger cab. Uh, the 906 on it. Let's change the tilt a little bit more. Let's pull the distance back a touch and we'll place it there. Now there's an absolute cluster of microphones on this cab right now, but let's see what it sounds like. I haven't heard it at all up to this point, so this could be awful. <laughs> So yeah, I'm actually really happy with how that one sounds. This method is a complete gamble, as I said, but sometimes it pays off. So there's five methods to help you get up and running with the Miko 2 plugin. Let me know in the comment section which one of these was your favorite, and if you'll be implementing any of these methods going forward.